Five at the Illinois State Fair, an elimination of the State Fair Colt Stakes for three-year-old trotting fillies. Top five come back for next week's final. Win, place, show, exact away. Dream number one, Fox Valley Aurora, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, of Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker, Tony Alanya trains and drives. Number two, Northern Victress, is owned by Dennis Gardner of Mount Airy. He trains, and John David Finn is in the race bike. Number three, G is Eternal. Owned by Richard Rick and Arlene Flacco's Flacco Family Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller. Ken Holliday is up. Number four, SS Stardust, is owned by Bill Wright of Morton, by Don Coleman of Lebanon, trained by Irvin Miller. Brent Holland will drive. Number five is Victoria, owned by Carol Graham of Salem. The trainer driver is Tom Buddy Graham. On the monitors, you just saw number six, Defiant Victoria, owned by John and Linda Howard of Sherman, trained by John Howard, Dale Heitman drives. Here's the seven, Lone Star Queen, owned by Geraldine Fleetwood of Lawrence, Michigan, trained by Bobby Polovic, Larry Stone in the bike. Number eight, Holly's Millennium, is owned by Conley, Winters, Hoots, and Clough. Reggie Winters, Marvin Hoots, and Cheryl Clough of Carrollton, trained by Doug Talley. Dave McGee is up. Step in time, number nine, owned by Whispering Wind Stable, and Steve Botter of Stager, trained by Steve Botter, Sam Witcher, is in the bike. And number 10 is L. Bohemian, owned by the Ocala Standard Bread Spa, Incorporated of Parkland, Florida, trained by Dirk Simpson. The driver is Tim Searle. Post time in five minutes. Victoria has been a handful behind the gate. She got rough gated bobbed and weaved all over the track. Now she settles down. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Step in time. Rough gated at the start. She settles into position on the far outside and comes out for the lead. Northern Victress gets away a close-up second, and there goes Northern Victress. Northern Victress moves up to take the lead into the first turn. Step in time is next. Fox Valley Aurora goes third toward the inside. El Bohemian settles toward the rail, a close-up fourth. Then G is Eternal. Gap of three to SS Stardust. Victoria is on a break. Defiant Victoria is 15 lengths off the lead, followed by Holly's Millennium, who's 17 from the front. 28 seconds for the opening quarter. Gap of two more to Lone Star Queen, and a long way back to Victoria, who is the trailer. They move on to the back stretch and step in time. Moves up to get the lead by a length from Northern Victress, second a length. Fox Valley Aurora, third. El Bohemian, fourth. G is eternal to the outside from fifth. And here comes a move from Fox Valley Aurora from third to second to challenge for the lead. Half and 57 and four. Fox Valley Aurora moves up on the outside of step in time, and they are soon to be joined by Gia's Eternal on the outside and third, who's one length off the lead. Northern Victress shuffled back to fourth against the rail to the inside of SS Stardust, who's moving up three lengths from the front followed around the far turn by Holly's Millennium, who's now five lengths off the leader on the outside of El Bohemian. At the three-quarter mile mark, they're being led by Fox Valley Aurora by a head. And now, Step in Time fights back toward the rail. Three quarters and 128 and one. SS Stardust is way wide and third. Holly's Millennium angles out toward the center of the track, three lengths off the lead and fourth. At the eighth pole, Step in time. Leads it by a length and a half. Two lengths from SS Stardust. Holly's Millennium far outside. Northern Victress back toward the rail. Final eighth mile. Step in time. Still leads it. Final charge from Holly's Millennium. Holly's Millennium. And step in time. Photo finish. It's a photo for the win. Either step in time or Holly's Millennium. Behind them it's a photo for show. Either SS Stardust or El Bohemian for show in 157 and 1. Steve Bowder trains this Armbro Charger filly. He is the co-owner, along with Whispering Wind Stable from Steger. In fact, Steve bred this Armbro Charger filly. She has just scored her first career victory. What a time to do it. Several friends of Sam Widger in the winter circle. Sam, a native of Peoria, Illinois. Real quickly, Steve Bowder, where are you from originally, Steve? Uh, Delaware, Ohio. 
Delaware, Ohio, good horse country. Are you as shocked as the rest of us by this filly's performance? Uh, she raced pretty good. She's just learning how to race. Green filly that just getting better all the time. And it didn't surprise me. She cut a big mile last time and just got a little tired. She's got to learn to develop her speed. We'll let Steve get going. Steve, congratulations. Thank you. Steve Bowder, the winning co-owner and trainer of that 25-to-1 shot, Step in Time. More in a moment. <laughs> 